there are a number of proteins in human milk, such as caseins, lactalbumin, lactoferrin, whey acidic protein, and immunoglobulins, especially IgA. Among their other functions, they provide all amino acids so that infants no, need no additional source for growth. On human chromosome 4q21, the long arm, there is a cluster of four casein genes at, which have resulted from duplications of an ancestral gene, the alpha S1, beta, alpha S2, and kappa casein genes. The major one is beta casein, which is uh, the major gene expressed in the cluster and can represent 30% of the protein in human milk. In addition to providing amino acid for infant nutrition, caseins are hydrophobic and they form these micelles which help to transport the needed calcium and phosphorus ions for bone growth as well. Casein uh, content in milk uh, varies over time in humans, much less at first, about 10% in first milk and up to 40% afterwards. There are also species differences. Some species produce far more casein in milk, especially if their young grow more quickly and wean more quickly. It can represent 80% of the milk protein in cows. Lactalbumin evolved from a duplication of the lysozyme gene, which is an enzyme. Lactalbumin no longer performs this enzymatic function, but it does act in conjunction with another enzyme to promote the synthesis of the disaccharide lactose or milk sugar. Mice without the lactalbumin gene produce little or no lactose in their milk. While most of lactoferrin is digested as a source of amino acids, some percentage, perhaps 6 to 10 percent, reaches the colon of the infant undigested. Here it binds iron and is antimicrobial, inhibiting the growth of pathogenic bacteria which require uh, iron, while fostering the growth of a beneficial bacterium, the phytobacterium, which doesn't. The amount of lactoferrin in human milk is far greater than the amount found in cow's milk. Once an antibody is identified, which is adaptive because of what it binds to, the very base can be switched out, the constant heavy chain, and form different types of antibodies which have the same binding specificity, which then differ in their characteristics. IgA is the antibody which will be secreted from the body, and milk contains IgA so that a mother who has uh, responded to the presence of a microbe and is making antibodies against it can actually pass on a type of passive immunity to her infant in her milk. The IgA antibodies will bind the microbe and this will protect the infant from microbes which have been encountered in the environment.